easy to be submissive in an environment of love. Yes, it's easy to be submissive in an environment of love. So when you're seeking for submission in an environment of control and domination, it can work, brother. It can work. So say no to this role that society has placed on you and be a loving. Hi, guys. <laughs> this is Gitch Claire Flavors. You know, um, there are I issues know. that women are dealing with and the society needs to know about it. Women issues are created by the society that we live in. Take a look at the whole lot of issues women are facing. The fact that you, as a woman watching this, is comfortable where you are does not mean that a lot of women are not having issues. Women are having issues in the church. They are having issues in their working places. Some women are having issues in their marriages. Some women are having issues in the market. Some women are having issues working on the streets. A whole lot of issues facing women today. And what causes this women issues? The society that we live in. The society that we live in has created a whole lot of issues for women. And this is actually caused by what? Patriarchy. Yes, patriarchy. Society has created a whole lot of issues for women and it keeps moving from generation to generation. But <laughs> a new era has come, women. A new dawn has come. And that dawn, that new era, you as a woman watching this video, watching this content, you are the one that has to create this new era for yourself. The society will not do it for you. Sister, you are the one to do it for yourself. And it's an era of awakening. You need to awake and define what you want, what gives you joy from the inside. Your God's, your God's nature, sister, you are God's nature and you have to see yourself that way and don't allow any society or any man define who you are for you. Yes, you have to wake up, awake and be that woman, that special woman that God has created you to be. It's time to become whole from inside and know that you are the only one in charge of your happiness. Nobody, no man can make you happy. Girlfriend, sister, nobody can make you happy. You alone are in charge of your own happiness. You just have to wake up. Now, what are the social issues? What are the what are the issues that society has created for women? One of it is what the socialization that has been given to women to a girl child right from childhood yes from childhood how been socialized to do what Com comply and submit yes even not from childhood you everywhere you go to as a woman you are expected to comply. You are expected to submit. That is why not, nobody cares about how you feel inside. No. You just have to comply and submit. Comply and submit. That means a woman has become a robot or a woman is a robot. And the what is imputed into this robot is what? Comply, submit. 
comply, submit, comply, submit. If you are not that way, you are not a woman. You are not a woman as in the definition of the society. What goes on inside you does not matter to the society. Whether it favors you or not, comply, submit, comply, submit. Because you are a robot. That is a society, that is a woman that a society has created. But a new era has come. You have to wake up. I have to wake up and start taking charge of our life. What makes us women? Why are we here? Why are you here? You have to ask that question. Form within you and become productive. You know, talking about productiveness, even the society has made women not to be productive. Yes. Because they see anything that is productiveness, that has to do with productivity, as man's rule. A woman, the conventional responsibility of a man and a woman that the society has created is that a woman has a rule of reproductiveness, as in reproduction, and a man has a rule of what productiveness, as in productive rule for men, and reproductive rule for women. That is it. That means as a man who is whose role is to be you know to be uh, uh, to be productive that means the role of breadwinner has been given to the man. But guys society has changed. The only thing that is constant is change. Why can't the society accept this? We accept change in every other thing. Technology, we accepted it. Mm -hmm. We accepted technology. We accepted a whole lot of changes that is going on. But why is it that we don't want to accept the change that is going on now between the role of a woman and the role of a man? That we keep emphasizing on these conventional roles that was there before my mother was born, even before her own mother was born. Things have changed. We are in the 21st century. Women are not only given the role of reproduction. They also go out there and work and earn money. Yes. So a woman now has two roles, and which is he is a reproductive, as in she has a role as reproductiveness, as in reproducing another human being, nurturing another woman, human being, and also a productive role because these contemporary women are learned women. Mm -hmm. You heard me right. They went to school, they are graduates. Some of them have doctorate degree, and some of them even aim more than the men that the society is telling them, giving them the reproductive role. Everything needs to balance. And we, this generation, have to balance it up. And stop taking the role that has been there before your mother was born, before your father was born, and start playing it now as a difficult role. Guys, things have to change. If you're a man, nobody said you are not a breadwinner. But your wife, who is also an educated woman, is also a breadwinner. Yes, because she's working, she's earning money, she's contributing to the house. Why not just acknowledge that and be grateful and also. Be productive in the house. Yes, and not just come to the house. Okay, for example, you and your wife, I'm talking about the family now, people that are married. You and your wife, you will go out together, do a whole lot of work together. She too, she's a, you know, the role of productiveness too, has, she has taken it over because she went to school, she's a graduate, and of course she just had to be productive, use a certificate. 
two of you go go out do a whole lot of things and come back inside the house and straight to the kitchen for your phone pressing phone for her to kind of you know bring the food to the table or something for you to eat this is not even the era of watching TV because these contemporary men are phone people pressing a phone and the woman two of you came together from the you know from wherever you want to go and labor as in kind of do your division of labor you came back to the house the woman rushed to the kitchen taking care of her the children thinking of what to do at least do something and stop taking over the, the you know stop allowing these um you know conventional role that has been placed from generation that you yes you don't even know about it stop claiming it and be what sensitive that's the word sensitive remember there was a time this woman was the blessing to you. You prayed for her to come into your life. It was like a prayer point for you to have a wife or for you to have a husband. Now the blessing is there and you're not sensitive. You're not sensitive. Now what you pray for as a blessing, you're not seeing it now as a cause or as something that costs you pain when you're supposed to kind of enjoy the blessing that you have. I've talked about one of the, you know, the women issues that the society has deliberately created. Now, let's go to the second issue because I intend to talk about two issues, two contemporary issues, I mean women issues that some women are facing. I say some because some don't even believe that they have issues at all. But the society have created issues, yes, for you and me. But the only way you can break out of this issue is by yourself, by myself. And how? Just going inside of us and knowing what you want, not what the society wants you to become. Yes. And doing you me to doing me as in the way it pleased the lord yes the way it pleased the lord you have to be happy girlfriend i have to be happy because god gave us life to enjoy i remember a place in the bible that says i came to give you life not just to give you life but to enjoy this life and not just to enjoy this life sister <laughs> god not just to enjoy this life do you want to know it? To enjoy this life and enjoy it till it overflows. So why are you suffering yourself, taking over all these societal problems that, you know, issues that, you know, the society has created for you and me? It's time to enjoy our life to the, till it overflows. Women, it's time for you. I am talking about the women that are ready to awake. Because some women will still be sleeping. No matter what you say, they will still be sleeping. They will never want to awake. But I'm talking to the women that have gone to school, that have certificate, that know that, yes, my certificate cannot be under the boss. But I have to use it and be productive to my surfex and to the children that you have and to the society that has created issue for yourself you have to awaken you just have to wake up wake up sister wake up girlfriend wake up yes it's time to wake up and say no to these societal issues this socialization process that has been handed over to you and me now, I want to talk about the second issue that the society has created for you and me that we need to know and then do something about it. Now, you know, when I look at men today, I don't see them as women's issue. No, I don't. Because these contemporary men are also sleeping. 
they are safe sleeping because they themselves too have been socialized. They themselves too have issues that the society has created for them. Because the society gave them a role that they just had to conform to. And what is that role? Control. Domination. Control. Dominate. Control. Dominate. If you are not controlling, you that means you are not in charge. And there's a saying that goes, you are not the man. This is the man. Because you just have to be in control and you just have to be and you just have to dominate. Society have created this issue for this generation men. And none of them is asking questions. They just into the world and then start playing it. Yes. But something needs to be done. And I'm also talking to men that need to awake. Don't just take over this role that the society has given to you. And then you now start seeing women as your issue. Women are not your issue. You know, generation yet unborn. As in, generation before you and I came into place, created this role for you. And you're just taking it. You're taking it. Thinking that you have, you just have to dominate. You just have to be in control. Nobody can ever be in control of everything at all times. No. So, relax, guys. Relax. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down and become sensitive. Women are not your issue. Mm -mm. Society has created issues for you and you just have to be sensitive and say no to this role that the society has given to you, which is domination and control. Control and dominate. You cannot be in control at all times. No, you cannot, brother. You know, so men are socialized to control and dominate. And this has become women issues. Because a learned woman, somebody, the woman that has gone to school, see it when submission has become domination. Yes. She sees it. And she will rebel. Of course, she will rebel because she's learned. You know, before they say women have fish brain. But I bet to tell you, this generation of women don't have fish brain. They use their head. And when you're a husband or when you're a man out there and you're trying to kind of use this role that the society has given to you, which is control and domination, she will rebel and please. Please don't say she doesn't don't call her a bitch. No, she is using her God given brain. When your when submission is easy to be submissive in an environment of love. Yes. It's easy to be submissive in an environment of love. So when you are seeking for submission in an environment of control and domination, it can't work, brother. It can't work. So say no to this role that society has placed on you. And be a loving man. Yes. Be a loving man. Now, what is a what is the solution to this women issue? That society has given to you. Remember, I have identified two issues. So, what is the solution? There are so many other issues that women face, but I choose to kind of stay with this. Let me reiterate. One of the issues is that women has been socialized to what com com uh, comply and submit, and men has been socialized to what control and dominate, and this has become women issues. So now, what is the solution, if you may ask me? In my own view, the solution is for women to awake. What do you want? What makes you happy? If you are in, in an environment and you are not fulfilled inside you, always go inside you and ask your question, where I am right now, am I feeling fulfilled? Am I happy inside? Or you are faking it. I know most of us women are really faking. For example, let me just kind of, uh, I'm not just saying faking, she might not be faking, 
but I got married using my own experience and that kind of start telling myself is this woman actually real for saying that what did she say I read a book by a prominent you know woman who is who happened to be a pastor's wife a prominent pastor's wife she said that she has never argued with her husband she has never had issues with her husband that is possible that that she lives with her husband in peace and all that she's so submissive in her book she even said something that she would collect money and hand it and hand it over to her husband i'm not saying there's any issue there but it's not my own experience Mm-mm. and that does not mean that because it's not my own experience there's something wrong with me as a woman or there's something wrong with my husband as a man no that is her own experience and it should stay with her own experience and it shouldn't kind of become a norm that all women have to kind of you know be, uh, you know take over their self no it shouldn't become a normality for every woman and you will not start you will, when things are not working in your home or working around you you know that starts in yourself that i am not a virtuous woman and talking about virtuous women there is nothing like yes yeah, the bible says something about a virtuous woman that but that is a desire of a woman for her son not god's desire go and read it go and read about virtuous women you will know that that is not god's desire for you and me as a woman is a desire that a mother created in her head for her son and you know the amazing thing this woman that woman this mother that talks about you know all this virtuousness that you know pastors and every other person keep preaching you just have to be a virtuous woman a virtuous woman virtuous woman virtuous woman she herself could not be the virtuous woman and that's why she desire this quality in another woman something that she herself cannot be she desire it for another woman she desire she want this kind of all this quality for a woman for to become the whatever any woman that want to become her son's daughter her son's wife sorry yes she desire all this quality of virtuousness in one woman for her own son as i said earlier go and read it the story of there is in the bible concerning a virtuous woman is a desire of a mother for her son which she herself will not be so stop creating stop kind of um you know creating this mindset that i have to be i have to be a virtuous woman i have to be a virtuous woman i have to be a virtuous woman it's not true create your own experience by yourself and leave that virtuous woman where it is live it so what is the solution i'm talking about the solution of this women issue that society have created now the solution to this ah, i'm taking it my tongue right in my mouth let me remove it the solution to this yes i have another one here Ah. Now, girlfriend, the solution, hmm, if you ask me, to this women issue, women issues that society has created, is simple. Know who you are. Know what you want. no one makes you happy and it should be good thing no yes of course it should be good things because i've realized that many women don't even because of the society that they, the way they grow many women don't even know what they want but i'm talking about those women that genuinely know who they are do what makes you happy genuinely so we say a whole lot of things people will say a whole lot of things but you just have to kind of close your ears and do what makes you happy and do what makes you whole as far as is good before god 
and you know before humanity. Mm -hmm. Do your girlfriend, it's time to do you. Because God gave us life to enjoy. And as I said, not only to enjoy, till it overflows. I see a whole lot of women having a whole lot of health issues. And it's amazing. I see a whole lot of women kind of wallowing in pains in relationship that is obviously heartbreaking, costing you pain, but you dare not speak because the society has put you in a box. It's time to do your girlfriend. It's time to do what makes you happy. You can do it. I can do it. You can live alone. Yes, you can stay by yourself. Yes. Come to think of it. Before you get to where you are right now, you were by yourself. And you were so very happy. So what makes you think that you will not be happy when you leave the situation where you are right now? And I keep saying it. Our thoughts is even influenced by the society we create before. Because of course, that's a socialization process that we have. It influences our thoughts. Even our thinking, sometimes it's not our thinking. Our thoughts are actually sometimes not our thoughts. Our thoughts. So you just have to check your thinking very well. Check it and see, this thinking that I'm thinking right now, does it really kind of align to what I want as in fullness, peace, joy, happiness, love, respect. This is my thinking right now. Does it really kind of align towards this as in what makes me happy? What makes me whole? What makes me a human being as a woman? If it does, if it's not, check it. And never you forget this. The power is in you as a woman, not in any man, not in any society. You are your own power. The power is inside you. When you say no to anything, no man, nothing, nothing can say it. So you have the power. You have the final say. Don't give your power to anybody. It's in you. Use it. Subscribe to this channel if you've not. Give me thumbs up and share this video. Yes, share it. And let's grow and let's grow this community together. I love you guys. Mm -hmm. Subscribe to this channel. This is giving